Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mary Lectures. Tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mary Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. Hi class. Uh, karibu ni katika lecture hizi basi leo tutaendelea na kipengele cha radius of gyration. So napongea radius of gyration. Gyration is a perpendicular distance definition yake. Tunasema is eh perpendicular kula distance distance between the axis between the axis of rotation and the point where a o mass is said to be constant so but is a point is a nil perpendicular distance so, perpendicular distance kvp so between the axis of rotation and the point where a whole mass the body is said to be concentrated so, from the definition to talk about the definition yeah moment of inertia for some summation for some is a summation for some it is a summation so unapongelea kwamba it is a summation tulisema i kianzia na moja mpaka n afa hapa tulisema n i r i square sasa tukidefine hiyo ndio kupata nini sasa unaweza kupata m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square plus dash dash huko mpaka m n r n square sasa unaoja kupata nini sasa hapo unaoja kusema nini unaoja kusema kwamba ukifanya assumption if if m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 is equal to m n huko na kuendelea huko sasa unaoja kupata kitu gani kwamba hizo zote zote zina mass zote zina hii mass m1 m2 m3 m3 mpaka m100 huko Zuwe na mass m sasa manake ni kupata i sasa na kuchukua m ala 1 square tupata hiki m ala 1 square plus m ala 2 square sasa so, m ala 2 square plus m ala 3 square plus hiyo nafika huko m n r e m size we mwenten r n square sasa tutakachoenda kufanya hapo tutafanya tutaenda kutoa mass nje tunasema i is equal to m r 1 square plus r 2 square plus r 3 square plus hiyo ala e square sikupata kitu kama hicho sasa kutoka kitu kama hapo na ndio kufanya assumption kwamba if n is the number is the number of particles kama nilikuonyesha pale mwanzoni kipengele cha kwanza kwamba hizi tunazoziconsider hapa hizi 
ni part mass of particles mass particles hizi ni particles particles ndio tunazoziongelea hapa sasa hizo n so n is a number of particles particles of the the rigid body the rigid body so as so you consider as ma na mass is equal to your m is equal to okay m is a mass is in number of particles and the m is its mass its mass to kwa hiyo tutakuwa rahisi sana hatunaoja kuona kitu kama hichi kwamba m i m kubwa a whole mass yote is equal to aka ka m kadogo zidisha number of particles ni kupata mass kubwa hii unachukua mass ndogo zidisha na namba hii ni kitu ambacho unaweza ni hapo hata kutumia tu hesabu za kawaida kinawezekana hicho kitu kwamba pata mass kubwa unachukua namba idadi ya mass hizi unazidisha na ile mass yenyewe unaweza kupata ile mass the robot sasa tuja make hii mass nyingi kwa hapa hapa ni mass ndogo sasa tuje tu make the subject hapo unaweza kupata kwamba m ndogo sasa na kuchukua m kubwa over n ndio tukisubstitute hicho kitu hapo juu tukisubstitute hicho kitu hapo juu ndio kupata i is equal to m kubwa over n ndio mabano ala 1 square plus ala 2 square plus ala 3 square plus dash dash ala n square kupata kitu kama hichi sasa tumboje je ni kuonyesha kitu hapo a is equal to m afu hiyo n inaigawanyia kwa ndani ya n nikigawanyia kwa ndani ndio kupata kitu kama hiki kupata kitu kama hiki ala 1 square plus ala 2 square plus ala 3 square plus dash dash ala n square lakini hichi kitu chote hiki hapa kitu hiki chote hiki samani hapo kwa tatizo la mwanga hilo kwa hiyo tu yani lazi tu sababu hichi kitu chote hicho i is equal to m hichi kitu chote kisha sana k hiki kitu hiyo k ndio radius of gravitation hiki hichi kitu chote hapo hiyo distance na namba hiyo kigawanya hapo ndio kupata k sasa hapo tunasemeje sasa m k square size zote ni square lakini ndio kwa mk square k kitu ni k square hiki so k peke yake ni k square kwa ndio kwa ni i sasa na mk square sasa lakini huko tuachane nako tuje to make any case subject hapo kutokea hapa maki tumesema hichi kitu ni sasa na hiki kaunti ki make case subject ya kupata support okay hapa hiyo kutokea kwenye formula hii hapo k ile kwa sasa anachukua square root ya ala 1 square plus ala 2 square plus ala 3 square plus hiyo ala n square over n sasa hiyo ndio tutakuja kwa nini ndio tutakuja kwa general formula ya radius of gravitation sasa k k ndio hiyo tumesema k is is equal to radius of gyration okay kindo definition yake ni hapa kwanza katokea hapa au katokea hapa juu kama nilivyo kuonyesha hapo ba i sasa na mk square sasa hiyo ndo general formula lakini hapo kuna assumption na make kwamba radius of gyration can also be defined as the root mean square of the distance of the particles as a rigid body hiyo ah, sasa definition yake ni kama tu ile ya mara kwanza niliyokueleza kwa sasa hiyo formula inakuwa kwa namna hiyo hii ndio general formula hii hapa ya kwanza 
ini mas afu i ni wala dias of relation chikitu i bersama ni moment of winesh santeni na kwenye kipindiki kwenye ladders of relation tumemalizia hapo na jinsi formula zake ni hizo mbili kulingana na data lizokuwa umepatiwa tutaenda tutaisovia ladders of relation au i au m kwa namna swali ndivyokuwa ninauliza asanteni kwa kipindiki kama umeelewa unaweza kupiga like hapo na ukaacha comment hapo chini kuona kama kweli tunaelewana na kama ujelewa pia usisite kuandika comment hapo chini na usisahau kusubscribe video hii na asanteni tukutane lecture ijayo asante asante kwa kuongelea channel ya dr mlelo ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote waweza ku comment hapo chini click link ya kwenye description kujoin telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion usisahau kusubscribe kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na ku like video hii